And I've been like thinking like, why do I get so anxious as well? And I think like a lot of it is that I feel guilty and I don't know exactly why I feel guilty, but I think there's like, I think there's like an element of like letting people down. Mm. So like in the videos that I watched, I didn't really think I was a people pleaser at all. Um, but like, yeah, the more I thought about it. And then you it, found out what a people pleaser was. And yeah, like, and I was just this. like, yeah, like I really worry like, oh, I don't want to let my mum down. I feel guilty about like me being an awful child when I was in like sixth form or whatever and being like, a, like troublesome or whatever. Um, and then like, yeah, I felt guilty for breaking up with my boyfriend. Hmm. Um, I feel guilty when like I let my friends down when I don't see them because I'm feeling anxious or mm. I don't want to see them or whatever. And then like I also feel guilty because I should stay at home and be with my sister because I don't want her to be like alone. So like I was thinking How about your it sister? all. She's 16. Um, but and, why, and why should you be at home with her? No, it's just we always like speak about, oh, can you be at home at this day because I'm not doing anything. And okay. I think it's just more so when I'm not there, she's usually like a teenager, like just sitting in her room on her phone. Um, so I think she definitely prefers it when I am there because like we'll watch the TV or like do right. stuff together or like go for a walk together. So I think like, yeah, I think also I never really had like an older sister when I was growing up. So I was like, oh. So you I feel a kind of pressure to be that for her? Yeah, like I want to be her like friend. Um, so yeah, it's like, I don't want to, like, yeah, I don't want to let her down if I'm like going out all the time. And then also my mum would prefer it if I didn't go out all the time anyway. So it Sounds yeah. really quite stressful. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like, in a sense, because like, what I'm hearing you say, just want to reflect it back. You don't want to let your friends down yeah. by not going out yeah. and being with them. Yeah. But if you go out with them, you let your sister down yeah. because you're not there with her. And you let your mum down. Yeah. And there's this sense of also like wanting to kind of be out there in terms of like work and sort of like yeah. progressing things, which then means you let your friends down, your sister down and your mum down. Yeah. So it's a bit like whatever you do, you're going to let someone yeah. down. Yeah, but that's why I thought I wasn't a people pleaser because I was always <laughs> letting someone down like... Right, I always because was, you were failing at keeping everyone happy. Yeah, you couldn't have been. A, what I think you now realise yeah. is the very fact that you feel like you're always letting someone down. Yeah, means that you have a strong, a strong people pleasing traits. Yeah, exactly. And I was like watching that video, and I was like, okay, like maybe I am a people pleaser a bit, but and then the more I thought about it, and the more like day to day, yeah. and just like how I was like with my family or my friends or like trying to like organise my life, I realised that. Oh yeah, like I'm trying to like make my friends happy and then make my family happy and yeah, yeah it's hard. Sounds but exhausting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And also, in a sense, it's also anxiety inducing, right? Because yeah. you're constantly having to think about if I do this, how will it make that person feel? And if I do this, how will it make that person feel? And if I do this, I'm going to let those people down. So you're spending a lot of energy thinking about everyone else, mm. which speeds up your whole system. And if you remember what we said, I think on our second session about the kind of the biology of anxiety that when you pump those stress hormones, the cortisol, the adrenaline, your system gets used to being wired and then almost it will latch onto anything to worry about because it's already overstimulated. Mm. Anything that we can do that helps calm your system, like it's almost your baseline of anxiety and stress if before it was up there and it's already calmed down a bit anything we can do to calm it down even further just means that if, if a panic attack or anxiety is up here the further your baseline is the longer the journey is to get to that point that it, it feels overwhelming so this feeling like you've got to put everyone else's needs before your own is just that apart from the fact that it's it's gets in the way of you doing what you want to do in your life it's also it stresses your system yeah